What's crack a lack in my little bro fishies? Welcome back to another super exciting episode of Bro Fishing. Today we're doing something a little different. Not just fishing today. We are going to test which of these four knives is the best. We got Danco, Mustad, the Bass Pro Shop brand, and Dexter. Personally, my favorite is Dexter. I always use Dexter. But um, I got the prices on the back of them. I couldn't find an exact price for a Bass Pro Shop one. Um, on Bass Pro Shop website, they had one similar to this. I guess this is like the old model or whatever. Anyways, it was $5, but on another website, this exact one was $14. So maybe since they're out, out of date now that they're uh, gone up in price, like an antique item, who knows? Next most expensive, or no, so we went from $5 to $14 to an $8 Danco knife. I got a feeling this one would be good. I like the handle on it. They're all, they all say the same thing. Stainless steel, sharp, whatever. We'll find out. We're gonna test that for sure. Dexter, uh, this one's a $12.20 one. And then the most expensive one is the Mustad thingy. It, uh, $25. That's a lot of money. I mean, this thing better hold up to its height because that's the most expensive one. So let's crack these open and see what they come with. Let's start with the best. Oh, this is that blister packaging that's like a pain in the butt to get open. All right, comes with this cool sheath. I'm kidding. Fire. It's fire. Wow, Ooh. see it's pretty sharp. Okay, okay. But I don't know, super shiny. We'll give it bonus points for that. And um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I, I like it. It's shiny. Handle feels pretty cheap. Not gonna lie. I mean, you got plastic peeling up right there, and I don't know. And just looks cheap. Feels cheap, except for the shininess. I, I like the shininess. All right, then uh, for the Dexter. Also doesn't come with a sheath. Not as shiny, but um, that's gonna be the winner. I like it. Uh, handles decent. Oh, freaking <laughs> zip ties, man. Okay. Okay. All right, I give it a zero out of 10 for the packaging. Oh my Lord. Woo. Oh, this one comes with a real sheath. Ooh. Oh. All right. Fancy. So that's Danco. No shininess at all on this one. Um, I like the curvature like these other ones. They're pretty straight. This one is curvy like Matt <laughs> Handle feels really good. It's got like little grippy thingies little grippy things on there. I like that and the sheath Actually has a pretty good stuff good pretty stuff. decent sheath. I like that. Can we put my filet knife in it? Your saws on you? <laughs> Must add most expensive one trash um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I think this one's gonna be trash just because um mustad. I mean they make decent hooks, but I, I don't like know. their hooks, but yeah. Oh Ew. the sheath's kind of fire. That is a fire sheath though. Oh man. Zero out of zero for packaging. Yeah, that's what is that? <laughs> Look at that, all this. I mean that seems like a lot of wasted paper to me. Save the turtles. Save the turtles, man. I mean trees. Oh yeah, trees. <laughs> you don't kill turtles with paper. Um, shininess. Ooh, it's pretty close. It does have a fire grip. Yeah, it does have a fire grip. I mean, look at that flare and everything. Hmm. I don't know. I'm actually uh, starting to change my mind about this one. I mean, I like the M for Mermaid Man. <laughs> sheath is a 10 out of 10, the best sheath we got survival bear grills status oh, oh it's got a clippy thing too it's not like a you can be one of those guys that like puts it on the side when look, you're fishing look. yeah the I client saw. the clients that show up to the dock ready yeah, to so go I'm always prepped in case <sighs> oh in case i gotta do a quick fillet and release well, you just doled it now how are you gonna test it <laughs> anyways shiny though i like that so First test we gotta do with these knives, they're fillet knives. So we gotta fillet 
you would think, right? So Matt and I are actually gonna go out there and catch at least four keeper fish, either grunt, snapper, four keeper grouper. <laughs> we are junk fishing, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so. we're just gonna go for something to fillet with, or uh, fillet up, and test out these knives. Should be good. Um, let's cut to us fishing. All right, guys, we're out here. Just starting off with a piece of scramp. Scramp. We're fishing in 29 feet of water. Let's see if we can get some fish to fillet up. Fish on, guys. Oh, a little grouper. Can't fillet him. I mean, we caught. <laughs> That's cool. See I'll you, buddy. That's on. Oh, he seems pretty decent. I think it's another little gag. Another little gag? Actually, it's a snapper. Grunt, yes. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for, boys. Nice job. Yeah, that's what we're looking for right there. Look, I got one on my arm. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Heck yeah. Dang, those are good ones, too. We're putting them in the box. All right, that's two. Two more. Fish on, guys. Grunt. Dang, that's a toad. Fish on. Grunt. That's a tank. All right, y'all. We caught our fish to test on. All right, we'll start with the cheapest one. There's two ways I fillet grunts. You go down and then cut through all the rib cages, and then the other way you kind of go cut and around the rib cage. I'm gonna cut. Um, around the rib cage first to see how controllable this is. Very sharp. Okay. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah. It doesn't really have a good, uh, it didn't really lay good on the fillet but we'll see how the other side goes all right now we're going to cut through the rib cages a little better that time but it still wasn't perfect it seemed kind of weird yeah all right all right now we're going to try to danco okay okay Oh, see, like that that's skins it be. way better. Now, time to cut through the rib cage. Ooh, cut a little too far through. And keep that crop trap bait. Let's see if it can skin it just as good the second time. Yeah, see. I don't know what was up with that knife. Danko. Yeah. Now we'll do Dexter. Hmm. Honestly, it doesn't seem as sharp as the other ones. Ah, oh, no, I lie. They're all, they're all about the same. Mm. A little too sharp. That skin's the best so far. <laughs> now I'm gonna cut through the rib cage. Ooh. Nice. Dexter. Now the moose stad. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I don't know if that's the knife. Or my issue. User but, error. Yeah. But uh something did not go as planned there. <laughs> Alright, cut through the rib cage. I cut through pretty good. Definitely doesn't skin as well as the other ones, but um all in all not too bad. All about even with the sharpness, except for this one. That one did not do too hot. Yeah, let's just go ahead. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we're gonna fillet the rest of these up with a different knife 
and um, then we're going to move on to the durability test. This is Matt's weapon of choice. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you want to see us uh, test some electric uh, fillet knives just like this one. I'm honestly a manual knife kind of guy, but Matt loves this thing. Time's money, bro. Matt loves his Sawzall. Weapon of choice. All right, now we're on to the durability uh, test. We're gonna do 50 chops. We're gonna start off with 50 chops per knife onto this uh, pressure treated dock piling. And um, yeah, this is not really for as so much as the blade, but to see how well the handle to blade uh, yeah hangs up how, how does it handle get it <laughs> I'm testing a handle all right so let's get it 50 chops Let's start. Let's get the chops with the handheld. Everything still seems fine. Let's try. Now the moose head. Uh. Ah, done. Everything still seems good with the moose head. Man, we cannot destroy these knives. We'll chop through the can. Let's see if we could do. All right, we're gonna start oh, with a. Let me, let me top her off a little bit more. Now we're gonna do the bush light chop. Pretty weak, not gonna lie. Coming from the Bass Pro one, my hand hurts. <laughs> Moostad. Oh. Okay, a little more choppage there. Still not impressive. Danko. Oh. Oh wow, that one actually cut the metal. Dexter. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Now we're gonna do the concrete swipe. <laughs> We're going to do 30 swipes on concrete and try to chip these blades. See if we can do it. Alright, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do 30 swipes like this onto the concrete. Then we're going to do 5 straight up and down chops and 10 wax on the concrete. Ah! We're going to try to break these knives. Let's start with the Bass Pro one. That's pretty impressive. It's actually cutting through the concrete. Oh, the edge definitely feels a little bird now. All right, what did I say? 10 chops? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh! Emotional. Damage. Emotional damage. We got some rolling there, some chippers on the concrete. Now we're going to stab the concrete five times. Ooh! Look at that, guys! No, that's a lot of damage. Look at that bend. Look at that bend in the knife. That's some. That's some, That's a lot of damage. <laughs> trash. Pretty trash. Now we're gonna do 30 swipes with the Moostad. That's not how you say the name. It's pronounced Mustad, but Moostad's a lot more fun to say. <laughs> Not as bad as rolling after the concrete on the the, 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 the Bass Pro one, but hey, I mean, I don't know what to say. Ah, ten chops now. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one threw some, ooh, some rebound back at me. Not as bad though. Really, not as bad. 
pretty impressed. All right, now five stouts. Okay, look at that, guys. A little slight bend. The tip is definitely not as sharp, but hey, um, definitely not as bad as the Bass Pro one here. I mean, that thing's a freaking, I don't even know what you would call that thing now. I don't know, maybe it's a, I don't know. Now we're gonna move to Danco. Not as bad, pretty good. Chops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Uh, you can still, you can see a little bit of chippage on there, but hey, not too bad. Now the stab. Oh, that's a bend there, fellas. That's a bend. Okay, we're getting somewhere. It's a clean bend though. Yeah, it is a clean bend. It's not a jagged bend. That one's jagged. That one's jagged. That one's more of like a swoop. This one has a little bit of a swoop. Now the Dexter. Let's see what it can do. One, two, oh, three, four, three. You can see a bunch of metal just hanging off all over my fingers now. And uh, yeah. Let's do the chops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> oh, I hit the concrete. Nine, ten. Oh, my thumb. Oh, there's metal shavings on my thumb. Ow. Subscribe, guys, so I'm not in so much pain. That held up pretty well though. Now the stab. One, two, three, four, five. Wow! Dang. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. Like no, hardly any bending. Like the tip is curved just the slightest bit, but hey, that's better than all the rest of them. I mean, look at that. We got a whole assortment here. Dexter, I'm pretty impressed with. Let's go back to the sharpness test. Ow! My hands hurt from all this chopping. All right, so we're gonna do to the most damage, the least damaged, and we're gonna redo the sharpest test to see if um any of them can uh, cut the paper like it did before. Starting with the Bass Pro, that one's uh, pretty damaged. Can't even cut the paper. Oh. No, that's a tear. Clean and cut paper. Trash. <laughs> I gotta go get that out of my pool. <laughs> Danco. Just a rip. Demon. Trash. Um, Mustad. Another tear. Not even cutting. Trash, Dexter. Okay, that's a little bit of a cut. Not a clean cut, but it is a cut. Let's see again. Okay, not as trash. Let's say Dexter did pretty good on that one. I mean, it got the least amount of damage from chopping, least amount of damage from stabbing. And um, held up. Let's go see where I threw those knives. Will you do it, Matt? <laughs> no. Do we not have a pool net around here? <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> I'm missing one. Right there, your foot. Huh? Oh. Got all the knives back. Okay, now we're gonna rate them one to ten. Okay? Um Bass Pro, I'm giving it a two. <laughs> Not in the pool this time? Not in the pool this time. 
Ganko, I like the handle. It filleted pretty well. I'll give this one a 6 out of 10. But the bending is obviously not as good. Must add, the handle kind of sucked when I was chopping it. It was slipping out of my hand. And it was doing all kinds of wonky stuff. Blade did not hold up very well. I'll give this one a 4 out of 10. Dexter, obviously the winner. I mean, it cut even after all that damage. Um, it looks good. The handle held up pretty well. Um, when I was chopping, it stayed in my hand pretty nice. I'm giving this one a 9 out of 10 because it still had some damage on the blade. But overall, very good knife. Especially for the for the price. There's only 12 bucks for these. The Mustad was 24 and it did the second worst. Bass Pro Shop, I'm not even gonna mention that one. Danko, pretty decent. What was it, $8, $9, something like that for it. Anyways, I would go get a Dexter out of these four if you're gonna go fillet some fish. Um, let us know which other knife brands y'all want us to do. I definitely wanna do Bubble Blade and Cutco and they, uh, Danco does make some higher end knives. I want to go test those as well. And I also want to text electric, uh, test some electric knives. So let me know what y'all want. Bubble Which blade. You Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Hit the thumbs up button if y'all enjoyed. Go check out Matt. He makes custom rods. His stuff's in the description of the video. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. And I will see y'all next one.